Hello everyone and uh, welcome to this uh, new course which uh, we are going to have of 60 lectures or maybe little more. So in this uh, groundwater engineering course, we will be uh, starting with this course with the basic concept of hydrologic cycle and uh, how water within earth system remains there through atmosphere on the land then in the sea and again going into the atmosphere and forming clouds and other things. So we, we will be starting with the hydrologic cycle. Then we will be looking at the different types of aquifers, which are the, uh, you know, like confined aquifers, unconfined aquifers, acute art, leaky aquifers, and so on. Further, we will be seeing also uh, different types of wells for exploitation of groundwater and uh, well testing, pumping test, all those things will be discussed in this course. And uh, also we would be, uh, later on, we would be going about uh, a large discussion we are going to have on uh, exploration part. So that exploration part we will have several subsections, like for example, it will have uh, first uh, hydrogeological or geohydrological exploration, then we will have geophysical, uh, surface geophysical, subsurface geophysical, and uh, some other exploration techniques like based on remote sensing and other things. And we will be also seeing when we will discuss related with remote sensing and GIS that how these techniques can be used in an area to predict many things. Many things that means uh, that uh, where such structures for groundwater recharge can come, especially in I am talking in hard rock terrain, how much uh, area will be submerged to get a benefit in uh, area or how much benefit area will come if I say invest one square kilometer area for some mud, for a percolation tank or a check dam, uh, that kind of structure. And uh, also uh, we will be able to tell in certain conditions that how much time it will take to see the benefits in the downstream area uh, in below this uh, check dam or percolation tank or uh, similar kind of structures. Then we will be also seeing different types of uh, geophysical exploration techniques starting from resistivity or electrical uh, to seismic, gravity and uh, you know other techniques. Further we will be also uh, discussing on well logging part which is a subsurface geophysical technique in which uh, you know might be knowing that uh, through a test well or exploratory well or a well is created and in that well geophysical instruments are lowered and many things are recorded. Not only the diameter of the well, but uh, different types of lithology which are present based on different criteria will be identified. Lithologs, the importance of lithologs which will or the cuttings which will come from these wells will also be there, that kind of. Be, before that, we will be also discussing different types of drilling techniques which are useful in and groundwater exploration or for creating groundwater wells. And so depending on the area, if it is hard rock terrain, which drilling technique is more suitable, you know, soft rock or, you know, alluvium, which technique is more effective, more cost effective, because cost will be also important. So we, uh, we will be also discussing, while discussing the, uh, these uh, drilling techniques, we will be also mentioning or discussing about the cost in different types of uh, rock conditions or uh, these uh, formations which are there in subsurface conditions. And uh, then we will be entering into how to augment our groundwater or our aquifers, water in aquifers. So in the end of uh, this course, we will be uh, going through the artificial recharge structures of different types. And uh, many innovative things are also there. Uh, locally innovative things can be there also. And uh, so, a quite a good discussion we will have also on the artificial recharge. Another field which has come, which uh, because of time limits we will not be able to discuss, which is a rooftop water harvesting. But uh, a rooftop harvesting ultimately it comes on the ground, the water which is collected. So then that will be already included in our uh, discussion that how once the water is available, how it should be used to recharge our groundwater regime. We will be also discussing about uh, the pollution aspects because that has become a big concern nowadays. So different types of pollution sources might be a point source pollution, which is easy to handle. But when we are having non-point source pollution, 
then those kind of challenges issues will also be discussed in this uh, course whereas point source pollutions what are the remedies how it can we minimize what are the when we say uh, our groundwater regime or water having poor quality so what are the chemical parameters on which we assess our water quality that will also be discussed like tds ph and uh, different types of uh, you know cations ions which are present in our water or especially ground water that will also be discussed and uh, in the end uh, when we will be discussing about uh, ground water recharge structures what are other innovations for example a new innovation is coming which is which mentions that uh, if you are having a large surface water body for ground water recharge and uh, the same time you would be having evaporation losses so how one can minimize evaporation loss so one way is nowadays a new uh, invention has been done is to put uh, uh, floating panels there or floating solar panels there so same time you are recharging ground water regime you are reducing evaporation losses and you are creating energy so i hope this uh, course would be learning for the basic course for fundamental course and exciting as well interesting too so with this thank you very much